A mid-Michigan company comes to the aid of a Florida woman who is refusing to give up after being dealt one of the most difficult obstacles a person can face. ABC 12's Don Jones shares the woman's year-long journey to take a single step. It wasn't that long ago when Shauna Mead was facing an uncertain future. I was just so sick. I, they found out that 86% of my body was occluded. The arteries were clogged. It had turned to stone. The arteries going into my heart needed to be opened. Um, the arteries in both my legs were damaged. The doctor said that in his 30 years, this was the worst case he had seen. And he told us to be praying for a miracle because they didn't think I was going to pull through it. The Florida woman was already battling two chronic illnesses, lupus and multiple sclerosis, when doctors discovered something even deadlier that had gone undetected. I have clotting lupus, which was the clots were adhering to the natural plaque in my arteries and was causing it, uh, when it formed a blockage, it would turn to stone because I have the peripheral artery disease. Saving Mead would require a procedure that would change the course of her life. They had to take my leg to save me. It's been a, it's been a rocking year being in this wheelchair and overcoming the obstacles of life with a wheelchair. Learning to live without her leg was no walk in the park. It was one of the most challenging obstacles she's ever faced. The one thing she knew is she could not give up. I have a nine-year-old that's autistic, and she needs to see and be led by example. So I need her to see me being tough and getting through this. You know, it, it's, it's hard losing the limb. Because with it also comes a loss of independence. Mead desperately wanted to walk again. It was a disappointing blow when the first prosthesis failed. And it, it sent me on a whirlwind of emotions that, you know, getting put into a prosthetic leg is a big ordeal. And when it didn't work and they told me that was as good as it was going to get, I, I at first thought, you know what, maybe this is what my calling is to be in this wheelchair. Maybe I'm supposed to help others from here. Maybe I'm not supposed to walk. Ready? I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. But all hope wasn't lost. A friend encouraged her to reach out to another company hundreds of miles from her home. Initially, Mead was reluctant. And of course, me being a thousand eighty three miles away, no, I can't do that. I'm not bothering some people. Eventually, she had a change of heart. And turn to your left. Yep, just like you were. Good and contacted okay? prosthesis you Mike ready? Bug, owner of Orthotech Prosthetics and Orthotics in mid-Michigan. When I heard about her, it, it, it wasn't even a second thought. And my exact words were, I was busy and doing something. I said, get her up here. Just get her up here. The journey began. Mead and a friend set out on the road trip of a lifetime. I have not set my expectations high. Um, I've set them very low because I have been in this wheelchair for a year and haven't walked. So I don't want to set myself up for failure, but Mike says I'm going to walk, so I'm going to give it my all. The process took about two days. There was measuring and casting. It doesn't hold that up for yep, me. Gotcha. Like grab this. Gotcha. And molding. Okay. Okay. Yep, minus. What we did is we just molded her for the fit of her above knee prosthesis. It's been a long journey for Mead living without a leg for more than a year, but in less than 24 hours here at Orthotech, they gave her a piece of her life back. Okay, stand up for me. Standing for the first time and anticipating her first step in more than a year left Mead overwhelmed with emotion. How does it feel? Does it? <laughs> Good. No, because you're going to make me cry. Independence and my freedom of being able to spend time with my little girl the way yeah, no it needs kidding. to be spent, going to functions and still, you know, being able to go out on my boat with my husband and, you know, spending time with them and being more mobile. With her daughter looking on, me did what she thought she would never do again. Walk. I felt very blessed. 
I felt like God opened a door and put Mike in my life for a reason. He's my angel. Dawn Jones, ABC 12 News. So great to see her walk. <laughs> yes, beautiful. Maid received her prosthesis this past July, one year after her amputation. And she's back home in Florida. She shared this video with us right here of her walking with the assistance mm -hmm. of a cane. We certainly wish her the very best.